Hi, I'm Kat and you're listening to Cat Tales. The vibrators bassist and lead singer Pete Honkamaki joined the band in 2003, having previously played in Finnish three-piece No Direction. Dressed head to toe in black and hidden under heaps of silver metal, his appearance is every bit the personification of the modern-day punk scene he plays in. But when I caught up with him at a charity gig in Norfolk, he showed his hidden depths and gave me some sound advice for anyone looking for a career in the music business. This is the one with Pete Honkamaki. Enjoying it so far, all right? I'm enjoying it so far. I just managed to get a class of I know, you did very well there. I wish I hadn't had the water. Yeah. Draw you a class. Yeah, I'm a sneaky one. They gave me a I know, I saw... Come on. They're never uh, going to say no to you. They'll be me, they're going, no, 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 the water's over there. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, anyway, here anyway. we are. Here we Pete, are. Pete, 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 here we are. And uh, I just want to know your story, really, because here, you're here with the vibrators. I am. And you've been with the vibrators, I am told, something like 14 years. Yes. Is that right? Right. This is right. I joined um, late August 2003. Wow. But I was only supposed to go and do uh, a US tour with them, um, which then ended up being a bit extended. Did it? So then tour never ended. Oh, did not. <laughs> Are it. you still on the same I'm, tour? I'm still on the same <laughs> tour. People, people keep asking, so how long, is, how long is the tour? How long is the tour? I'm like, Never ending. <laughs> That's all I can say because we, we're constantly playing. So, yeah, some people consider if you go and do two gigs in a weekend, that's a tour. No, that's no, not a tour. That's, not a tour. that's two gigs. Two gigs, that's exactly. Two gigs. That's not a tour. Tour is once you, if you, if you constantly play in, then yeah. the tour just carries on. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. It does, doesn't it? And which is the best country to play in then? If you're oh. always on tour around the world, that's oh, a hard one. It's like choosing very, your children, isn't it? Yeah, really? yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. I mean, every, every country seems to have sort of. Um, their own little little thing. I mean, if you if you like mad, very um, good crowds, I would say Brazil. Yeah. Brazil, nice. because people there they are hundred percent music lovers, and and people who come to the show they don't come there to to stand and look too cool for school. Mm. They come there to sing along every song. Mm and dance and just go generally mental and having a good time yeah but same happens usually say in Prague it's usually the same deal right so it's not just that you, you only find these kind of people in, uh-huh. one, country. in one country you find them all over the <laughs> place all over, and you've got to tap into them to make sure you it's need a good to, you gig. need to get this you know get to get the movement started mm. and then the rest is history mm. but like in Brazil you don't need to you only need to just get on that stage before even you play anything they're all excited the same happens usually in Prague yeah and there's other places as well but um, yeah a few countries are a bit more you know yeah they, they hold it back oh. and they don't go mental but yeah. but still it's it's in the end of the day um, there's we usually we are quite lucky we don't uh, disappoint no mm. exactly and well you see let's be honest vibrators wouldn't still be going after all this time oh, this is it <sighs> Let's yeah, be honest. Absolutely. This is the only reason why we're still going, because we can uh, produce a good hour and 15 minutes of fun. Mm. Um, Which is what it's all about, isn't it? That's what it's all about. I mean, sure. um, if I go to the concert, I want to forget everything else. Mm-hmm. It's it's all about that. You escape your everyday life and whatnot. And you, you simply don't think about anything apart from the songs that are, are played on yeah. stage and, and the show. And and that's how I want everybody to feel when they come to our gig. Mm. I don't want people going like looking at their watch and like yawning around. Yeah. Is it over yet? That's you know. right. You're so right. Actually, you want to be immersed in it, don't you? Yeah. And you want to be feel like you've been moved. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, I want to see some smiles and yeah, screams enjoyment, and screaming, and going yeah. for it. Yeah. So you've been with the vibrators what 14 years or so? 14 but years. 14 long, hard years. Well, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't really feel that long. I mean, there's been periods that there's there's been a bit of a struggle uh, with with basically was down to one person mm-hmm. not really pulling their weight and being generally just very difficult to deal with um, 
so four years was a long, long mm. time. Uh, far from that, it's been a um, hell of a ride. It's been good. Yeah, because um, I always wanted to be a musician and I always wanted to see the world. And the um, last 14 years, that's exactly what I've been doing Terrific. for a living. Yeah. So uh, it's quite amazing, like, uh, time to time you even forget that you're going to get paid because you're just like amazed by the places you go to yeah. countries you see and you're like holy shit I'm getting paid for this Yeah. and you know you party every night and yeah. everything's free you, 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 you yeah. get your wine for free your wine yeah, exactly. apart from I don't I'm sure you will <laughs> I'm sure you will but you know so you sometimes you have to pinch yourself like think like oh man and there's money on this as well yeah which is kind of, I mean we're not making Great. obviously we, we, I, I can't buy a house or Car right now, I can I can get by, mm -hmm. but it's it's all down to what you expect from life, and I'm I'm just happy what I have. Yeah, you know, what I have. But it's, it's it's more to me to be able to do what I want to do rather than doing something totally opposite. Even making good money that wouldn't compensate. I understand all. entirely what you're saying, and mm. sometimes it's about that choice, isn't it? Really, it's it's all about the choice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a bit, I I end up. Speaking to obviously a lot of a lot of fans, uh, quite young people who already they moan about their job, mm. whatever. And I said, "Well, what do you do? And, uh, mm. Do such and such." I'm like, "Well, what do you want to do?" Yes. And then they go, and it's not even like I want to be an astronaut or something. Mm. You know, it's just something quite simple, which the only thing it takes is go to school and, and learn the profession. Yeah. You know, do something about it rather than just like, oh, I don't like my yeah. job and well, I, just, yeah. I can't do this. Of course you can. Everybody yeah. can do whatever they want to yeah. do. It's, you know, just grab the light by the balls and do yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Know, right? But a lot of people don't have the guts to do that, do they? Sometimes they just go... No, they don't. But know, that's what I always, yeah. always, I try to say like, listen, mm. I'm, this is what I've done and I know mm. all my life I, I've done a shitty jobs but I never moan about it Mm. I just wrote songs. Right. Uh, it just fueled me even more to, to practice and, and uh, push the band through and whatever it is to make it happen, which is, it can be, it can be uh, really frustrating, obviously, because, mm. I mean, Vibrator is the first band that I actually make money from, mm. you know, and, yeah. and, and I'm not a young guy anymore. So, I mean, I, I struggle through numerous bands, mm. you know, what were you doing before then? What kind of bands were you with? Um, nothing big name. Um, only band that I played for before the Vibrators is the UK Subs. Okay. Yeah, but this was then. like just fitting in. I wasn't a permanent member or anything. Uh -huh. I was just helping out. The music industry is very fluid like that though, isn't it? I mean, I speak to a lot of musicians yeah. who work with various different bands and they, yeah. you know... Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of, a lot of musicians who don't move like that much. Um... I mean, I don't tend to moonlight. I, I always think that if you are in a band, you should be in one band, two band, the max. And you really need to make sure that either band don't suffer. Yes. From your, your schedule. Yeah, you've got to dedicate yourself to it. Yeah, absolutely. You? It takes Otherwise, a lot of you can't expect anything, and, and you m might very easily get a, a, a get a boot. Yes, absolutely. Because you're not putting your effort in it. No, absolutely. It happens very easily because if, if the whole band is facing forward and mm. you're facing backwards, then yeah. what do you expect? Absolutely. Mm. So, good gig tonight then, hopefully? A charity gig, which is charity always lovely, gig, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's quite relaxed, usually. Um, I've, I, quite often, I've, I like the different settings and stuff because you can... I mean, kind of relax, and you don't know what to expect. Yeah. I mean, we played all kinds, all kinds of gigs, and sometimes we play. I, mean, I think the weirdest gig we've done was um, some young kids' birthday party. Oh, wonderful! And we just came back from. Like, we did a few gigs in Europe or something, and then we <laughs> came over the channel and, and went down to. I think it was Portsmouth. Terrific. And we did this. His birthday party in, uh, in the church hall, and uh, yeah, it was a bit weird. A bit <laughs> weird. Like, with the day, like everybody's like always quite sober. 
Yeah. You guys just, you know, it's yeah. a lot of young kids running about and they're like, what is oh. this? And like, it's more oh, for the parents, did. I feel, this yeah, one. I, 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 think, I think the kid was like turning 15, 16, something like that. Oh, okay. But he was, I don't think he was much of a fan. Bless. Yeah. He was by the end of the evening. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping so. And I'm sure that you'll get plenty more fans by the end of this evening yeah, as well. So that's what uh, I hope to run. Yeah. So you enjoy yourself. It'll we'll be great. Do. And I can't wait to wait to see nice it. One. Have a nice uh, glass of wine yeah. and uh, I will no doubt catch up with you again Alrighty. soon. Thank you very nice much, Pete. You take care. Cheers. Bye. You've been listening to Cattails. To listen again to this and other tales, go to cattails.co.uk. 